if you want to hit Legend of NBA 2K20 as fast as possible and as easy as possible as I hit it, you know I hit Big Legend. You know I'm a legend, man. Make sure y'all watch this entire video, man. I'm going to show y'all how to hit Legend, show you how to do it fast with all these double rep methods. And yeah, man, watch the entire video. If you hit that like button in the next five seconds, Ryan 2K is going to take away all your players, man. I wouldn't risk it. I said fuck school, probably cause I made more than my teachers I ain't learn a single lesson, come on baby I can teach you I'm a high fool, mama said I'm smoking too much reefer Hit the plug and then I re-up, used to flip kicks up at recess I said fuck school, probably two. I'm back with another video man I got y'all with this rep method video The best rep method video There's tons of double rep events They're all over the place 2K is trying to, you know, I guess keep y'all busy Keep y'all playing the game as much as possible so I know a lot of y'all are getting close to hitting legend. I know there's tons of legends this year, so it kind of has no meaning. I know there was a helicopter glitch and all that, but you can actually hit legend this year. Like the 40 badges is definitely worth it. So I, if you want to hit legend, I say hit it. Like just grind hard, do it as fast as possible. So I'm gonna show y'all, you know, badges, clips, and stuff like that of uh, how to get the most rep possible in wreck, 3v3. Um, park whatever you play stage how to get the most rep possible so you can hit legend because it's about grinding smart not hard you can grind hard and just waste your time or you can grind smart and get the job done so my viewers are not subscribing like right? you, you can see on the, the screen that like 65 or 65 66 percent of y'all aren't subscribed like bro make sure y'all subscribe if you watch this video man turn on those post notices like the video like i tell you before it even starts man it helps out a lot like every sub every like helps man so make sure i subscribe bro and like the video and i got y'all with the best rep method first man let's go to the badges so last video last rep method video i didn't tell y'all which badges to run so i have one build all my badges can be edited and changed and stuff like that so i'm gonna show y'all as a point guard this is first point guard. I'm gonna show y'all which badges to run. So you got a point guard, right? Finishing badges literally does not matter. You don't wanna score, to be honest. You really just wanna facilitate. Defense doesn't matter. Like if you, if you got a defensive build, I guess it matters, but more than likely if you're going for rep, you want a two-way slashing playmaker or a play shot. Like a BP, the slashing sharp doesn't give you any rep, so there's no point in, in using that build. So you want to get on the play shot or two-way slashing playmaker, all right? So shooting doesn't matter. Shooting badges don't matter. So for the playmaking badges, if you are going for rep, man, I will, you know, beat this like a dead horse. You got to grind smart. So best way is to put on playmaking badges, like actual playmaking badges to play make for others. So... You want flashy passer on. I know a lot of y'all won't have, you know, 30 badges, 29 badges, whatever I have. I know a lot of y'all won't have that, but I'm going to do, um, just say, I guess 20 badges. So say if you got 20 badges, you either, you got to make up your mind. You want diamond floor general, but you need flashy passer. You also need live city passer. So if you want to run this, run it. Um, if you want to drop your unpluckable, you can. You can maybe run Floor General, drop your Live City, and run Floor General Hall of Fame instead of Diamond. And like Bronze Unpluckable. Uh, if you if you really, you know, want to run Diamond, I guess you can. Personally, when I was grinding for up, I did not have Live City Passer on. The highest I had it was Bronze. So just go Bronze, Live City Passer. Gotta have Bell out on, so go Bronze, Bell out. And I will go like gold unpluckable and like gold diamond. I don't think you really need four general. It's up to you. But this is the batch layout I would run if I had 20 playmaking batches and I was going for rep. You have to pass the ball. I'm gonna show y'all some clips. It's gonna be a mixture of clips with my big, with my point guard, with any type of slasher or playmaker. They're both gonna be on the court. A slasher and a playmaker are both gonna be on the court when you're grinding for rep, man. So you wanna make sure you have these badges on to make sure you can get the most rep possible. 
because passing just normally passing gives you rep if you hit the center on a pick and roll and he dunks or scores the ball it gives him rep so any type of passing gives you rep if you're on a point guard so you want to do that you want to have these playmaking badges on you want lob city you want flashy you can flash it to the center he scores that gives him good you know amount of takeover in this takeover meter and it gives you a ton of rep so you want to run that all right so now if you're a slasher i got a paint beast i never played with no interior because i feel like the defense was trash and i knew i wasn't going to use an interior when i hit legend anyway so i ended up making a paint beast to get rep because i get the defense and the finishing but it's up to you man you can come out there with anything you can come out there with interior whatever you want so i use the paint beast but i obviously don't have you know 29 badges before i hit legend so I'm gonna take off all these badges and show y'all what I would run. That's crazy, I got purple consistent. That's, that's godlike, so. If you got an interior finisher, how many badges you would get? Cause I get 29, so. First, you wanna go contact. Uh, you wanna go contact Hall of Fame, obviously. Next, you want Lob City Finisher Hall of Fame. That's the most important thing. Lob City Hall of Fame and Contact Finisher Hall of Fame are the two most important badges that you need playing the slasher role. So honestly, if you just wanted to make a build that had eight finishing badges, that had Hall of Fame finishing, go ahead. If you if that's what you want, do it. As long as it has finishing Hall of Fame, you're gonna get a lot of rep for that build. So how it works is the more you do what your build is, the more rep you get. It's pretty simple. So if I'm a playmaker shot creator, I play making fade. That's it. I get tons of rep from doing that. If I'm a paint beast. I dunk the ball and I play defense. If I'm a interior, I just dunk. So that's how you get the most rep possible, honestly. Do what your build says it is. All right, man, so I'm gonna just explain to y'all what I'm kind of doing in these clips. Um, it's simple. I know I, I faded right there and then I just threw the lob. Then I threw another lob. You can see I got 21 assists. I was really forcing lobs at five TOs, but yeah, man, it's, it's really simple. You get in there, go in the red, go through, through, whatever, just throw lobs or catch them. It's really simple. Like, look how we set this up. I get the ball to the lock. I tell him to set me screen. Corner, you know, stay in the corner, don't move. So I'm gonna get a dunk, a snatch block. So, yeah, man, I told my guard, because my guard was also grinding for legend, just to throw me lobs. This clip has multiple lobs in it. So I just told him, like, look, just throw me lobs. You grinding for rep, I'm grinding for rep. So just throw me the lobs, man. And that's really what he did, but yeah, man, it's really simple. So just throw lobs. So yeah, man, that's really it for this video. I'm out. Um, it was a kind of a quick video, it was about eight minute video, almost nine minutes, I'm sure, when I'm done editing and stuff like that. So I got y'all with the best rep method. It's probably gonna be my last rep method video. Just kind of getting tired of making the same video. So this is gonna be my last rep method video. Hopefully it does well. I want y'all to like the video, subscribe. Turn on the notice like I tell y'all all the time. So, yeah, man, that's really it for the video, and I'm out.